Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Emoji Keyboard for Microsoft OneNote, PowerPoint, and Word. And what that'll do is it'll allow you to insert all kinds of emojis into your documents or presentations, that kind of thing. Um, it's a free add-on from Microsoft. You can get it from the Microsoft App Source website. And I'll put that link in the description. So once you're there, you just want to click on Get It Now. And then it's going to want you know, to tell you what it's going to be doing. And if you agree, you click on Continue. And then once you have it installed here, you'll have an option to open it in Word and PowerPoint. And you'll see that it says it works with OneNote for the web. So that's probably why you don't have a uh, open with OneNote option right here. So we'll click on open with Word. And it asks if you want to allow this app to open or this add-on to open Word. And you can check this box if you don't want to be prompted. We're just going to say open Word. Okay, now you can see under the insert tab we have the emoji keyboard. And if you don't have that, you could go to my add-ins and find it from there. And you could also do things like, you know, check the details or remove it or review it, that kind of thing. So once you're here, you want to click on this emoji keyboard option here. Now you'll see it brings up all kinds of different emojis. You know, here's your typical smileys and you could change the skin tone. And then of course you have the animals, food and drink, activities, travel and places, objects, symbols, flags, and of course you could search, so let's say you want a car emoji, you could do that kind of thing. And then one thing you'll notice too, is there's different sizes. So let me shrink this down a little bit here. And let me actually add, insert a new page here. We have something to work with. So right now we're on the extra large. So if we click on this, it's going to add an extra large one. And of course we could, you know, reduce it, that kind of thing. And see, it keeps its quality. But if you want to use an extra small, let's say you're just using it at the end of a sentence. See how small it is? Same thing, but smaller. But you'll notice if you enlarge it, it loses its quality because it's a smaller uh, file. I don't want to call it a file, but a smaller uh, graphic there. So it's not going to keep its uh, quality as you enlarge it. So you might want to just kind of decide on what you know size you want to use before you place it in there and if you're going to expand it or not. And then also, too, one thing you know, so right now, if we have that, and let's say we add another one here, it puts it in line with the text, so I can't move it. But if you click on it, you'll have this little icon here for layout options. So you can click on that. And then I like to use either in front of text or behind text. So I do in front of text. Then it frees it up there. It doesn't put it in line with the text anymore. And you can put it in front of the text. Or, for example, you want to put it behind the text if you want to put something over it, that kind of thing. So just remember this layout option comes in handy when it comes to moving these around. And this actually comes in handy for moving any kind of images around so they're not in line with the text. So, so once again, pretty simple to use. Um, another option you have too, which is built into Windows 10 if you're using Windows 10, if you hold down the Windows key and then press period, you have this emoji can panel here and you could insert similar types of icons as well. But one thing I don't like about it is to say you click off of it, it's gone, and you have to bring it back up again with Windows and so on. And it's putting it black and white because it's putting it in line with the text, but it has you know similar types of emojis. So you, you know you can use them both too if you want. So once again, um, I'll put a link in the description. And if you don't want it, you could, like I said, delete it from your add-ins here. You could also right-click it from here and click on Remove. And then it will take it out of your Office software. But if you want to use it again, you'll have to go back to the website and uh, do a reinstall of it. Okay, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.